Controversy intensifying tonight in connection with the arrest of a Schuylkill County man last month. The arrest was captured on police body camera. That video has now led to questions about how police handle the arrest. The I team first reported the arrest last Friday, and there are some new developments tonight. 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now in the studio with more. Andy? Well, good afternoon, Nick and Candace. 43 year old Dennis Antonelli had been sitting in a jail cell in Schuylkill County for a month now, a month tomorrow. He and his attorney say his civil rights were violated and that police had no rights, in their words, storming into his Shepton home. And we must tell you the police body camera video is intense. So, do you have a search warrant to go in, do, you have, do you have something to go in my house? And that question is really at the center of the controversy involving Dennis Antonelli from Shepton and East Union Township Police Officer Christopher Dimmick. Dimmick and an officer from Shenandoah Borough went to Antonelli's Shepton home on the evening of May 13th. They were there to escort Antonelli's live-in girlfriend to the home to retrieve some of her personal belongings. She left the home earlier in the day. Antonelli closed the door and shut off the light. His attorney, Joe Neha, says that should have been the end of it. But body camera video on Officer Dimmick recorded a conversation as the officers walked away. I, I, I want to f*** him so bad. He's such a Antonelli is clear. He's polite. He's clear and says, I, I don't want you in here. The officers return a few minutes later. Words are exchanged and police move in. You can't come on my house. Don't put your hand up. You can't come on my house. Oh, oh, your hands behind your back. Come in my house. You can't come in my house. Antonelli is pepper sprayed and taken into custody. On Monday, attorney Nehas filed a motion in Schuylkill County Court to have a slew of charges dropped against him, including terroristic threats, aggravated assault, and resisting arrest. He also wants the state attorney general to look into the actions of Officer Dimmick. I was requesting that the district attorney's office uh, refer the matter uh, to the attorney general's office, whereby cases must be referred by your local district attorney to see if the officer's conduct rises to the level of criminal conduct um, and that I would like to have investigated by our attorney general's office. Now, the DA, Michael Pegg, tells me he has not made a decision on whether to refer the case involving the officer's actions to the attorney general's office. He also said that he cannot comment in general on the case since it's ongoing. Officer Dimmick says that Antonelli shoved him and he almost fell down five steps in front of the house, but that shove is not seen on the body camera video. Officer Dimmick reached out to the I-team over the weekend telling me we did not have all the facts and would speak with us today. We intended to interview him this morning, but he texted this reporter and said all questions now must be referred to the DA's office. I also reached out to the police chief in East Union Township for comment. We have not yet heard back. You can see all of our reports on the situation on PAHomepage.com. Stay tuned.